This is a Blazor WebAssembly application. In the default settings, there is no configuration file in the project. Namely, there is no app settings JSON file inside the WebRoot folder. Therefore, first, I am going to add configuration file to this Blazor WebAssembly application. Then, store some values, store some config values inside app settings JSON file. Finally, I am going to introduce how to read config values from the configuration files and use it across the application. However, there are two ways to read config values from the configuration files. One is direct method. We can directly read the config values from the configuration file by using iConfiguration interface. And we use it specific laser components. And there is another way. We we read the config values inside the program file and add the config values to the configuration collections. Then we can use these config values across the application. Therefore, in this tutorial, I am going to do three things. One is add configuration file to the application, read configuration value locally. Third one is read configuration value globally. Now let's see it. Before adding configuration file, I would like to give brief introduction to the Blazor WebAssembly configuration. Blazor WebAssembly configuration. Blazor WebAssembly loads configuration from the following app settings file by default. Let's say this is a Blazor application. In general, in default, app settings will reside inside the WebRoot folder. This is the WebRoot folder. Therefore, WebRoot folder slash app settings JSON. In fact, app settings JSON has three types, namely app settings dot environment dot JSON. Meaning, we have app settings dot development dot JSON, app settings dot staging dot JSON, and app settings dot production dot JSON. However, when runtime, the application will automatically pick up the corresponding environment's config values. If staging, config value in the app settings.staging.json will be used. In production, config values in the app settings.production.json will be used. Therefore, config value names should be consistent across these three app settings files. But values might be environment specific. However, there is one warning. Configuration in a Blazor WebAssembly application is visible to users. Don't store app secrets, credentials, or any other sensitive data in the configuration of a Blazor WebAssembly application. This is very important. Now let's see how can we get config value from app settings configuration. This is the default method. Later I will introduce another method. Configuration in app settings files are loaded by default. This means that a configuration value which is stored in an app settings file loaded by the Blazor framework automatically. In order to get it, inject an iConfiguration instance into a component to access the configuration data. As described earlier, in Blazor WebAssembly apps, the location of the app settings is WebRoot folder. Now, let's add configuration file to the project, then store a config value in it. Finally, let's read the stored config value and use it in a Blazor Web component. Now I am going to add app settings JSON file to the root folder. This is the root folder. I am going to add JSON file. App settings. I also add app settings dot development dot JSON. Now I have added app settings.json and app settings.development.json. I am going to store a config value inside this file. 
Actually, I am going to store JSON placeholder APIs base URL. There is one API. Its name is JSON placeholder. This is a test API and it has there some data. It has some data. We can use it. For example, I am going to use this to do's inside the to do's and we have one array in inside this array there are many to do's for example inside this array there are many values therefore i am going to use this and going to display this data in the blazer component therefore i am going to store this api space url inside app settings and read it inside a component copy this Paste it here. I am going to store only the base part. Save it. I also save the same thing inside app settings JSON because now I am in the app settings dot development. I am going to save the same thing inside the app settings JSON. Just copy it. Paste it here. Now save. Now I have app settings JSON and I have app settings dot development JSON. In the next step, I am going to create a component. In general, components reside inside the pages folder. Create Reza component. my to this one add now i have created the component in the next step i am going to display data by using this component first i am going to add router then inject some services now we are going to read the config value from the configuration namely from the app settings json file therefore i need to import some services this is then inject now we are ready to read config elements from the configuration files okay i am going to display the to the data therefore i need to create one model namely i am going to create to do object now in the to do class we have user id user id 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 title title and completed completed save it in the api this object is array namely in the placeholder api the to do is array inside the to-do array there are many to-dos therefore i need to declare one array now i am going to get the data from the api namely i am going to call that api inside this component first i need to initialize this component We need to inject HTTP client as well. Now we need to call that base URL here. In the settings file, we have this is the config name. 
therefore we just put it here then we have to do to do here it's to do therefore now we have the to do arrays in order to display it i need to write some http codes actually in order to save time i have prepared it and i just copy it place it here copy this paste it here now i need to explain this I have to do this array here. If the to do array is null, just show loading. If not null, display the data in the HTML table. This is the header part. In the header part, we have user ID, ID, title, and completed. Just like this user ID, ID, title, and completed. Then we have table rows here. This is the actual value, for example, I am going to display user ID, ID, title, and completed. Actually, this completed is Boolean value, therefore I am going to convert it yes or no. For that, I just use ternary operator. That's it. Save this. Clear this now i created the component then get the data from the api and uh, display it in in the html table the component has been done now in the next step i am going to add this component to the side navigation actually we have side navigation in this application the side navigation is inside the shared folder this is the side navigation. I am going to add that component, namely the my to do's one component, to the side navigation. Therefore, I just copy this, copy, and paste it. Just call the component just here. Table. No, everything is okay save it before run it i will summarize it first i have added app settings json inside the app settings json i create one config value that config value is json placeholder api based url this is the api based url then i created one component the component name is my to do's. Inside the component, I created one to do object or to do class. Because we have object here, the to do object. This is the to do object inside the placeholder API. Therefore, I created one to do object. The object is same as the data user ID, ID, title, and completed. Because that to do is array inside the API, therefore I created the array to do array. Then I get the data, namely I get the to do array from the placeholder API. This is the base URL. Then I add it to do. In this step, now I have all the data because namely the C sharp portion provides me the data. Next step. I need to display this data, therefore I added one HTML table. That now I have completed this component and I have called this component in the side navigation of this application. Now I am going to run this application. Hopefully it will display the data. Let's try it. Run this. It's loading. okay it loaded now let's try now let's click this my to do's 
Okay, it works. Namely, the data has been displayed. At present, I just use the JSON placeholder API's base URL temp plus to this. In the upcoming video, I will introduce component parameter. At that time, we will use component parameter instead of this to do. Component parameter's value will come from the outside of the component. Namely, it will come via the template parameter. Now, I am going to introduce another method to get config values from the configuration file. Namely, I am going to get config values inside the program files. First, I need to change some changes at here. Then put it here. that's it this is the same as the original and we just changed its shape now we have http added here added scope it and then by using the http get the app settings content we read get as async and this is the response inside response we have this content then get the content of the response and read it as stream then this is the stream and this stream added to the add json stream now inside the configuration we have the content of the app settings json file that's it now actually let's see this class now this is the builder this builder has root components here and this builder also has services here this is the service collection and this is the root component collection actually if we see here we also have configuration here therefore we can add configuration now it's okay now in the configuration collection we have the content of the app settings json file now we can use it across the application save this in this tutorial I have introduced how to add configuration file to the default Blazor WebAssembly application. Thank you for your watching. Please subscribe.